called uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, we're not waiting. Uh, of course, if you're not here at 9 o'clock, I will call you, but then we leave. All the time, you don't have a worker for you. I have a hundred workers. If I miss one for a week, I need mean, this, this half and this twenty dollars to make it. Of course, I'm not, and that's not what it's about. Fuik Engineering and Central Industry Group. Um, and he will talk about shipbuilding in Holland, designs of vessels and how we in the Netherlands cooperate as, a, as ship owners, shipyards and suppliers. That's a rather uh, good group where we work together. Our main reason to do that is actually to make shipbuilding a lot easier and uh, especially cheaper. Um, after Mr. Stoyt, we will have all the other uh, presentations during the morning. And thank you all for attending, especially uh, to those who have flown a long distance today from the Netherlands to make it a successful seminar. True Bangladesh is now one of the best lands for joint venture. People here are very hospitable and they are habituated to go along foreign nationals. We have uh, lots of offices everywhere around the world. Uh, Vietnam, we, I think we have uh, China, uh, Russia and we just opened an office in, uh, in, in Brazil. For small offices, up to 10,000, 20,000 dead weight or even 30,000 dead weight without cargo heating the thermal oil is much, much more attractive. How can you prove it? You can calculate it, of course. Eh? Uh, but for the shipyard, the initial investment is there the most important, I think. Yeah. So the, 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 the investment cost of thermal oil system is, is let's say, at least 25% lower than steam. The disadvantage for the shipyard, the disadvantage for thermal oil is that the piping requires more attention. Because when you have a leakage, you have more problem because you have oil. Vibrations from the diesel engines. Diesel engines will transfer vibrations to the ship structure and could cause undesired noise and vibration levels in the living area on board the ship. One of the yeah, biggest uh, vibration uh, transmitters is of course all the uh, different kind of engines. Diesel engines, main engines. Um, and what we try to offer is an uh, engine mount which is mostly reducing these vibrations uh, to the ship structure and also they uh, will protect other equipment which is located uh, in the same area of this, uh, these kind of engines uh, for damaging. Thank you Harry and uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Albert van der Velde. I'm uh, Managing Director of Wintap. Wintap is a, a foundry, a small foundry in Holland and we produce the best air pipe in the world for staff. <coughs> I'm also the designer of the Wind 2000 series air pipe head. On the picture over here you can see uh, an example of that, that air pipe head. This is the Wind 2000 series which I've, I have designed myself in the year 2000. The sales manager for the division shipbuilding uh, for Walt Whistler Univalve. And we are a producer of butterfly valves, only butterfly valves. Um, we are producing, designing, um, testing um, rubber lines and also high performance butterfly valves. We all do this in the Netherlands, Losser, in the eastern part of the Netherlands at the German border is located. Um, next to that, um, we are cooperating together with uh, well-known uh, actuation manufacturers and um, we are designing our own remote control uh, system for ballasting uh, or cargo handling. 
the question yet. It also shows a bit my inspiration or our inspiration for the company. We are in the life-saving business and what we produce are rescue boats, davits and anything to get off a boat safely in unsafe conditions. And uh, as you can see, yeah, this inspiration, this is in the chart near Chittagong uh, in 1999, where we looked at uh, yeah, shipbuilding at the time in Bangladesh, while shipbuilding has far progressed ever since. And uh, yeah, we would like to be part of this new movement here in Bangladesh. Uh, core basis, we started off with Vibe Engineering saying if we take the basic mistakes out in the beginning, we will be able to optimize. We've taken that same concept in a smaller form, but we have fully standardized and fully 3D engineered our products, being able to enable us to outsource it and to deploy components of it locally. I can give you a 3D drawing package of that element, and you can produce it here because you know what it what it should and would not do. Now then, um, okay, I mean, before I get into your question, uh, until last night I was asking myself why the Chinese among all the Dutch faces, yeah. And I think it come clear this morning that it's a matchmaking seminar. Okay, this is the first slide that I had, and probably I'll end up with these slides, but uh, let me start off with our country profile. We have a facility in the Primpatan Lake. Should be mounted on the main deck of the vessel or the barge. Power range from 200 all the way to around Common Street. Uh, First thing is I want to congratulate the, uh, the organization with, uh, with this seminar. Yeah? Uh, Harry and I got a very strange idea one year ago to organize a seminar here in Bangladesh. And uh, that was only an idea. And after that uh, we had contact with uh, another shipyard which was uh, willing to organize, have a joint effort with us to organize this seminar. I'm very happy with that. Uh, thanks to the MC of the Netherlands, it, uh, and, and thanks to the MC of the Netherlands, it became, uh, I think, a success up till now. It's not finished yet, but I'm looking forward to the, to the rest of the seminar. The second thing which I want to address is that I'm, uh, I want to share my happiness uh, to be here with you. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to uh, share our knowledge and uh, meet the right people in the shipbuilding in uh, uh, Bangladesh. So I'm very proud actually to be here and also very happy to be here and I'm looking forward to uh, have a personal uh, discussion later this afternoon after lunch. And another picture is the diesel engine which is also equipped with an oil cooler of the I don't know the brand of this engine but it is a diesel engine, that's what I know. So this is a booster unit 